Welcome back. So far, we have learned about get by and get all by class of queries to assert if elements are present in the DOM. And we have recently learned about query by and query all by class of queries to assert if elements are not present in the DOM. Although it might seem like we have covered all the cases, we do have a third case. What if elements are not present in the DOM to begin with, but make their way into the DOM after some time? For example, data that is fetched from a server will be rendered only after a few milliseconds. Of course, data that may be present initially might also disappear after some time. Get by and query by are not sufficient to handle this scenario. Let's see what React testing library offers to account for appearance or disappearance of HTML elements. Once again, I have set up some code behind the scenes. In the skills component, I have added a use effect hook. When the component mounts, a set timeout is called, which sets is logged in to true after 500 milliseconds. I have imported use effect at the top to make this possible. Let's now write a test to ensure the start learning button is present in the DOM. Test. The name is start learning button is eventually displayed. And the second argument is a function. Within the function, we render the skills component with the appropriate props. Next, we find the start learning button using its role. button and the name is start learning. Finally, we expect the button element to be present in the document. If I save the file though, we have a failed test. And this is because get by role does not wait for an element to appear on the screen. Initially, is logged in is false and the start learning button is hidden. As a result, this assertion will fail. So how do we overcome this problem? This is where the third class of queries from React Testing Library comes into picture. And that is find by or find all by. Find by returns a promise which resolves when an element is found which matches the given query. The promise is rejected if no element is found or if more than one element is found after a default timeout of 1000 milliseconds. Find all by returns a promise which resolves to an array of elements when any element is found matching the given query. The promise is rejected if no elements are found after a default timeout of 1000 milliseconds. So back in VS Code, all we have to do is replace get by role with find by role. Now find by role does return a promise, so we have to await it and add async keyword to the function. Save the file and the test passes. Now what we have seen here is just find by role but all suffixes we have seen with get by and query by hold good for find by as well. It's also very important to note that find by has a default timeout of 1000 milliseconds. In our skills component, if I change the set timeout duration to 1001 milliseconds, save the file, The test fails. Find by could not find the button in that 1000 milliseconds. When writing tests, you may come across a need to wait longer. For that, you can pass in a third argument to find by. This is going to be an object where we specify timeout 
and we can set this to 2000 milliseconds. If we save the file, our test passes again. So this is how you can make use of find by and find all by when working with asynchronous code. To summarize, when working with async code, we can make use of find by and find all by class of queries from React testing library. They're useful to wait for an element to appear or disappear in response to an event, user action, timeout, or promise. Find by returns a promise which resolves when an element is found which matches the given query. The promise is rejected if no element is found or if more than one element is found after a default timeout of 1000 milliseconds. Find all by, on the other hand, returns a promise which resolves to an array of elements when any elements are found which match the given query. The promise is rejected if no elements are found after a default timeout of 1000 milliseconds. In our example, we used find by role to wait for the appearance of a button element in the document. We have set a custom timeout of 2000 milliseconds since the default timeout of 1000 milliseconds was not sufficient. With that, we have now covered all the class of query methods available in React testing library to find elements in the document. Finding elements is fundamental to writing any test and I hope you now have a clear understanding of how to do that. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.